Dong. Dong. News flash just in. It's been made official. Pebble are no longer a company that's viable. Those of you who don't already know, and even those of you who do, um, the Pebble company who make the smartwatches is no longer producing smartwatches. This is their Kickstarter page, and they've actually been bought out by Fitbit. Now, I thought it'd be interesting to give my opinion and see what you guys think, because especially those of you who have backed this uh, project, you know, I think it's nice to get feedback from you guys. Um, it shows you there, 66, over 66,000 backers have pledged over $12.7 million to bring the project to life. Now, if we go down here, it says, we love sharing Pebble's story with you. Whether it's a new product, fresh feature, or simply staying in touch and in person. Blah, blah, blah. Our silence over the past month was deafening and out of character. We're really we're sorry for that. Today we're breaking the sat silence. Join us as we close one chapter, and invite you along what's ne uh, for what's next. We hope to answer as many questions as possible here in our formal announcement and on our support site. Now the way they've worded it is like, oh, it's a good thing. It's not a good thing. From the reports I've been reading. Fitbit are buying Pebble's key assets, which basically means they're buying things like patents um, and other things like that. They're not actually buying Pebble as a company. Um, it says that due to various factors, Pebble can no longer operate as an independent entity. And we have made the tough decision to shut down the company. The deal finalized today preserves as much of Pebble as possible. In a nutshell, they're not going to be making any more watches. They've known about this for some time. And the fact they've kept silent and haven't told people who backed their project is disgusting in my opinion. Um, if you backed this project, you will get refunded from what I've read, but you have to wait until March of next year. Why should you have to wait till March of next year when for the last six or seven months, Pebble have been sitting on that $12.7 million, or a good chunk of it, and doing nothing with it. Um, I think it's completely outrageous, to be honest. Um, we are currently no longer manufacturing, promoting, or selling any new products. Active Pebble models in the wild will continue to work. Um, much of our team and resources will join Fitbit to deliver new moments of awesome in future Fitbit products, developer tools and experiences as our transition progresses, we'll have exciting new stories to tell and milestones to celebrate. Look at these pictures, right? How they're all smiling, happy and everything. I think that's just like slapping someone in the face, personally. You know, you've put money into this project and you have to wait till March of next year to get a refund. Do they not think this is a bit inappropriate, these sort of images on their Kickstarter webpage? You know, it's like almost taunting you, like they don't give a damn. You know, I feel like actually I'm quite, I haven't invested anything in there, but I'm quite annoyed by the way they've handled this. Um, we'll miss what we're leaving behind, but are excited for what the future holds. It will be important for Peblers to extend a warm welcome to Fitbit as fans and customers sharing what they love about Pebble and what they'd like to see next. Now it shows you here, um, that they were even a successful, it was a successful crowd crowdfunding campaign. That's what takes the, the absolute mick out of all of this. Um, and none of these watches they've mentioned here will go into the final production. Um, it says here, no further action is needed. Eligible backers will automatically be funded their pledges for any unfulfilled Pebble rewards. Now, what's the, they should mention in there, not until March of next year. The fact that they're hiding that is disgusting, in my opinion. Um, the small number of Pebble 2 backers who did not submit the information required to finalise their reward shipments will be will also be refunded. Um 
successfully receive Pebble 2 rewards are the only item not eligible for a Kickstarter pledge refund. Why? You've sold a product to people and you're going to stop supporting it. And don't say you're not because you are. We all know that. That's what's going to happen. You don't give a damn. Let, you know, it's fact. You've known for over a month about this and you haven't said a word to anyone. You've let people carry on pledging for these products. Um, backers who, who ordered add-on Pebble devices to their pledge portals portals after the campaign closed may have seen a temporary authorization charge, which reversed automatically a few days later. Now, if the original pledge payment method is no longer active, blah, blah, blah. Now, even if you're outside the UK, they say you'll get refunded, but on the current, in you'll get refunded in US dollars at the current exchange rates. Um, so you might gain a little bit, you might lose a bit, who knows? Uh, it's not massively difference, really. Now, active Pebble watches will work normally for now. Functionality or service quality may be reduced down the road. We don't expect to release regular software updates or new Pebble features. Our new mission will focus on bringing Pebble's unique wearables expertise to future Fitbit products. We're also working to reduce Pebble's reliance on cloud services, letting all Pebble models stay active long into the future. I'm sorry, when you sold this product to the public, you sold it on the proviso that it have reliance on the cloud services, it would have, you know, um, support, etc. Now, one-to-one -one Pebble support is no longer available. Any Pebble currently out in the wild is no longer covered by or eligible for warranty exchange. Users looking to troubleshoot their Pebbles can still visit our help portal and community resources. Sorry, that's not good enough. That is not good enough. If you sold a product to someone, I don't care if you've joined Fitbit or whatever. You have responsibility. So even if you, for example, bought your product, your watch a month ago, it's no longer covered under warranty. And they're, they, they're saying here clearly, you're not allowed, you're not eligible for a warranty exchange. Um, you're not covered by a warranty or anything like that. You're, you're not even getting one-to-one -one Pebble support. You know, look at these images. It's ridiculous. Those who ordered and received a Pebble from Pebble.com are no longer eligible for return or exchange. That said, we are processing and refunding any Pebble.com returns that were successfully completed with our support team before December the 7th. In addition to refunding any items purchased from Pebble.com, which did not ship by this date. See now, if you didn't buy it from Pebble Direct and you got it from a retailer, my suggestion is guys, return that watch because you're gonna have all sorts of headaches with it later on down the line. It'll lose certain functions, you won't be getting any sort of customer support. If you're still within the return policy, take it to the retailer, get a refund. It's not worth holding on to it, in my opinion. Look, you can still find replacement cables, accessories etc from amazon.com and third party vendors like gadget wraps and clockwork synergy you know it's it goes on and on and on so i want to know what you guys think i personally think it's like a slap in the face um i personally think if you bought a pebble timepiece um that's still a warranty you should be eligible to have that warranty um, honored and you should still be getting the support at least during the warranty period um, if not by um, pebble but by fit fitbit um, now a lot of you're going to get mad at fitbit it's not their fault they actually just stepped in and bought parts of the company out although they would have gone bankrupt most probably i'm guessing i don't know the ins and outs of it It's just, I personally think it's a kind of really disgusting um, state of affairs, really. Um, and they haven't even told people who, who back the project that they will be waiting until now, um, until March. Look here. 
Pebble said it will try and refund backers the time to call and time round gadgets by March 2017. There's no guarantees it could be later than that. And it also warned those who already own this gear to expect less support. That's not good enough, in my opinion. What do you guys think? I personally think they need to step up or Fitbit or someone needs to step up for those of you who bought these watches. Um, and it, it says a long sort of ongoing thing about smartwatches in general. Um, a lot of smartwatch manufacturers have ceased making smartwatches, but they haven't pulled support for their products or the warranty. They're still under warranty. Um, see, look here, Lenovo recently said it would not launch a new generation of its Moto watch to coincide with the launch of Android Wear 2 because it did not see enough pull in the market. Intel was recently forced to recall its basis peak smartwatches, so on and so on. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Let's get this conversation started. And I think you guys need to voice your opinions to Pebble. Um, do it now while you, you can and in big force. Um, I'm, I haven't got a Pebble timepiece and never interested me. I haven't backed any projects, but this is really annoys me. I hate, I hate when companies screw over their customers. I absolutely hate it. Those of you who already subscribed to my channel know I'm like that. I hate it. Um, and I'll help you. If I can help you by putting a petition forward to Pebble or Fitbit, I'll guys think in the comments below. Um, Join us at uh, Tech Talk. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, we're a community of people who love our tech. We can discuss it in there as well if you like. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description below for that. Hit that subscribe button right here, right there. And remember, this is Techzilla, and I'm standing up for you guys. Even though I don't have the product, I'm standing up for you guys. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. But by all means, please be honest in the comments below. I'd love to get your feedback. Anyway, it's Texan saying take care. Have a good evening. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye for now.